Nvidia recently just released their RTX 30 series graphic cards, and boy are we excited about it. I mean, 3070 better performance than 2080 Ti. Press F to do. Just bought the 2080 Ti recently. Press F. Yeah. So I thought to myself, why don't we just do a simple experiment about graphic cards? See, gra graphic mounting. Uh, uh, some people they prefer to do it the horizon the horizontal way, which is the most common traditional method that they just mount it in. That's all. But some, for a static reason, they prefer to mount it the vertical way, so you can see your magnificent fan spinning, RGB lighting up around. So let's go ahead and do an experiment and see which mounting type will give you a better thermal performance. Now, before we slap this GPU into my PC over there, let me just do a quick explanation on how the experiment is going to go. So first, we're just going to mount it horizontally and do some stress tests around for around 20 minutes or so, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then we'll collect the temperature data and see to get and uh, at its peak temperature is constant when the temperature is constant collect the data and then just pop it out mount it vertically run the same stress test over again 20 minutes 30 minutes or so let it reach its peak temperature and then we just compare both temperature together and that's all that's all for the experiment nothing fancy so also i watched a video from jay stusen he, he said that ideally mounting the gpu vertically is better why? Because if you mount it vertically, your GPU fan will draw the cold air from the side and then you pass through this heatsink in the middle and the hot air can directly rise up to dissipate the heat. So what does this mean is if you mount it horizontally, your hot air goes from the bottom through the heatsink or heat pipe and it has pass through this very thick metal plate which I believe every mid-end or high-end GPU has this back plate so the heat will gather around the back plate which they have a very hard time to dissipate which is not very good cooling so we we'll never know until we find out so let's get started for experiment accuracy, I will just put a glass panel for both horizontal mounting and vertical mounting because you need the air to because you need the GPU to get the air from your intake fan, not from your room. Uh, and slap this in. Switch on the power. And let's do some stress tests. So we're gonna just run the stress test for horizontal and we are we running at stock so no fancy overclocking, you won't get extra heat or you won't draw any extra power so we'll, mark, we'll be using for mount because that's the most standard stress test software for GPU and it's running at preset full HD and that's good. We just let it run around 20 minutes and we will check back, see the temperature, the peak temperature, and we'll do the vertical. Now, so we run the test for around 16 minutes and we have a peak temperature of 66 degrees Celsius. I mean, the temperature did take around like a 5 minute mark, but still, let, just let it run and yep, we are still at 66. Uh, just around 65, 66. So that's the temperature, and we can go ahead and mount it vertically. Now remember that when I say, ideally, mounting your GPU vertically will get better temperature for your GPU. But somehow, most case manufacturers, when they design the vertical mounting for your graphic card, they design it very close to the side panel that the result may backfire. So, because you see, your graphic card's fan, it needs room to draw cold air in. Your cold air needs room to pass through into the fan, through the heatsink, and dissipate. So, 
if your side panel is so close to the graphic card, which is, well, in this case, this case, it's so close that like, it's barely 20 centimeters to 30 centimeters, which is, it's not enough room for the cold air to pass through. So, I am very sure that the temperature will be higher than the horizontal mount. So, let's get the testing going. So, I've been running a test for around 15 minutes now and the results are very obvious. It's definitely running hotter for the vertical mount GPU. See, we have a peak temperature of 74 degrees Celsius. And what's interesting that I discovered that I set my fan for the graphic card in auto. So right now our fan is running at 63% of the speed. So compared with my horizontal mount, it auto definitely picks at 44 to 45%. So you can imagine that if I set this fan speed of 63 to 44, that I follow what the peak speed for the fan on horizontal mount, vertically if I use 44%, it's gonna be way hotter for the GPU because the fan just couldn't keep up for the heat that's generated from the GPU. So conclusion is very clear. Mounting your GPU vertically, it's not very practical if your case side panel is very close to your graphic card. So unless you're planning to water cool your graphic cards, you can just mount it vertically. It doesn't affect when you water cool. So that's all for today's experiment. If you would like to see me do all sorts of little experiments on my PC, do leave a comment down below and give me some ideas. I'll just do it for you. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, enable the notification button, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.